Hello, it's Gordon Brown here from thegreatgordino.com and creator of transformyourlifenow.com. And in this video, I'm going to ask a question that I have no idea what the answer is. And it's this one. Ask yourself what the best version of you would do, then do that. Now, if I said that our thoughts direct our actions and it's our actions that lead to results, that might seem like a logical set of words to follow. It might also seem logical to say then that to get different results we need to change our actions and that needs different thoughts. You might say again, yeah, that's all very well. That's all very well to read in a personal development book or see on the stage of a self-improvement seminar, but how does that apply to me in the real world when I think instinctively sometimes? Well, that's a good question, and here's the answer. Because we do think instinctively or subconsciously a lot. In fact, our brain is working all the time, 24 seven, taking actions and going through functions just to keep us alive. That happens all the time. And when it comes to the subconscious or instinctively, as we develop over the years, we build up neurological pathways, a bit of brain science going on, we build up these pathways, pathways and internal models about the way things are, the way things should be, the way we react and the way we act. Now, those models, because they're built up over so many years and built up as a result of repeated behaviour, it can seem like they become instinctive behaviour. And while it could be argued that it does become instinctive behaviour, I would say that it's better if we look at it as habit rather than instinct. These internal models that we have in our brain, they can be changed because they were created. They didn't come out fully formed, they were created and developed so that we can develop and change them and create new ones. It's not always easy, it's not always quick, but change them we most certainly can. So, when it comes to you and the best version of you, that thing you thought, was that the best version of you? That thing you said, was that the best version of you? And that thing you did, was that the best version of you? Are you acting your best towards others? And just as importantly, and maybe even more importantly, are you acting your best towards yourself? So you might say, well hang on Gordon, what do you mean by my best? Now that's another good question, but that's the question that I have no idea what the answer is. And in fact, you should be telling me what your best is, because I don't know. I would say, that if you use the word or think of the word integrity that's quite a good place to start. If you think of integrity as to how it, you use that towards others and integrity about how you use that towards yourself then that's a good starting point for you to work out what the best version of you is. When it comes to other people, yes. And when it comes to yourself, Yes, in the areas of health, wealth, career, relationships, lifestyle. What would the best version of you do? What would the best version of you think or say or set as a goal or have as an intention? How would the best version of you act towards other people in those areas? Now, here's an important point I'm going to make at this point. We don't act our best all the time. 
I understand that. Life is not some kind of Mary Poppins adventure. I understand that. We don't act our best all the time. We can't. That's just not possible. But isn't it better if we have the intention to? Isn't it better if we try to do our best? If we look at and analyse what we're thinking, saying and doing and thinking, hang on, is that my best? Could I do better? Would it improve things? Would it send out a better message and better ripples to the world for myself and for others if I acted more in line with what I consider my best? I'd say, yes, the world would be a better place. And also, it needs to be your best. The best for the real, genuine, authentic you, not someone else's best that you think you want to adopt because that's cool or fashionable or trendy. Not your best that someone else tells you should be your best, but what you believe is your best. Here's the other thing about the benefit of acting in the best version of you. Not only do you see the benefits for yourself, but other people will start to see the difference in your thoughts and your actions and your results. And they will start to question what they think, how they act and the results they get. And they will start to ask, are they doing their best? And they will start to act more in line with the best version of them. So everyone moves up and forwards together. That has to be better. So I'll ask again, Ask yourself what the best version of you would do, then do that. So, what do you reckon? Do you agree? Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment below wherever you happen to be seeing this video. Pop over and see me at the blog, thegreatgordino.com. And while you're there, you can get my free video series covering the eight step goal achievement formula that I've used to go on many adventures and it's helped me to try and be the best version of myself. I know that I'm not the best version of myself all the time, but I try to be, which means that I try to make corrections if I realize that I haven't been. You can get that video series over at the blog, thegreatgordino.com. Pop over and see me at Facebook, facebook.com slash thegreatgordino. It's my personal profile. And then there's my pages there, facebook.com slash your life transforming and facebook.com slash the great Gordino newsletter. So it's Gordon Bryant signing off for now, asking myself what the best version of me would do and then trying to do that. Make sure you're trying at least to do the same and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.